Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing, babe? Good. Got some nice sleep last night. Last night we had, I think, eight hours, and that might be the most we've had so far on so the trip. So good. It felt so good. We've stayed so busy this entire time. But um, today is very, very exciting. So you guys remember I was super excited about the zoo video, the zoo day. This one I actually honestly might be more excited about because I didn't even know we were planning on doing this. We weren't sure if we were going to do this. Anyway, today we are in Cairns. You guys know we traveled up here yesterday. And this is the view from our hotel. Holy cow, look at that. So do you guys see these two boats over here on the very far right corner? Those are, I forget the name of the company, but anyway, they're gonna be taking people out to the Great Barrier Reef today, and we are gonna be on it. So we're going to three different spots on the reef. They go to like 16 spots, but they choose three every day for the three best ones, I think, that you're gonna be able to get the most action, gonna have the best weather. And we're gonna be out there, we're gonna snorkel. I might scuba dive a little bit, it's gonna be fantastic. We're gonna be able to see the reef. It's gonna be amazing and we're late. It's 5.45 or 7.45 technically, this thing's off. We are supposed to be there right now. So we've gotta hurry down there. We'll see you guys when we do. Wave conditions are moderate out there. So it is gonna be choppy and there is a decent chance for seasickness. So we'll see how that goes. I don't know, we've been on boats a lot recently. So I feel like we should be able to handle it, but we're gonna head out here to bay number 11 and get our uh, Great Barrier Reef on. This is us all the way out here on the end. A lot of the other boats look pretty old and beat up. Ours looks new. This is pretty nice. A little seating area. People are dropping like flies. It's crazy. I'm not, like I, obviously I feel a little bit uneasy with all the yeah. movement because it gets bad sometimes. But what's really making me sick is like watching other people puke. Cause they have, yeah. they have those like white airplane bags all over the place. And so people are just grabbing that and just letting loose. And that's yeah, what's making it the worst. That. I don't no. I, I'm hoping we're gonna be able to make it. So we stop at three different spots. The first one, I'm gonna be doing my introductory dive. Unfortunately, not she's sure. not gonna be coming along. She's just gonna be snorkeling at the first spot. So it makes me sad, but we're gonna be split up. Sorry. I'll miss ya. And I think I can bring the GoPro on a head mount. So you guys might see some footage from the first dive. But if not, you guys are gonna get a lot of stuff from us snorkeling together yes. at steps two and three. So I'm gonna leave you guys here. I gotta go get ready now. Forever, darling, it's gotten better ever since we got together in that moment when I started to dream. When I came to the stage and I started to scream like this. See, this the reason that we did it. We got too much to lose, then I go try and win it. How you feeling, girl? Nice and tired? I'm so tired. <laughs> so tired. Three hours of this gets pretty exhausting, not gonna lie. My feet kind of hurt. I think my feet are a little small. This is a lot of fun. How was your snorkeling? It was actually really good. Was it? Yeah. Did you I, see a lot of stuff? Uh, there was tons uh, of Thanks like, everyone for your help during that head count. It is done. We do have everyone back and uh, we'll get moving over to Gordon's. Well, that's good if news. If you are diving at the next, next site, you can head out to the back and start getting ready. Thank you. Anyway, there were tons of like schools of fish and coral and I saw this giant clam that was like as big as me, which is crazy. Yeah. It was really cool. I saw two sea turtles. Becky. Neither Becky. one of them. I got on the camera. So, so last night I had the GoPro plugged in and then for some reason I unplugged it and never plugged it back in. So both of my GoPro batteries were dead. They're charging right now, so we should be good for the next two stops. But the first sea turtle I saw, we found him down on the bottom. We were probably like 25, 30 feet deep. We, he was like digging in something, like getting food or something. And then he swam all the way up to the top and we followed him all the way up to the surface and then all the way back down. And then I saw a second one who was even bigger and we were closer to him, but he didn't do anything cool. Both of which were great, both of which I didn't get on camera. And I saw none. 
I'm really disappointed. It's all right, though. We're going to see one at our next stop. We're going to keep our fingers crossed. That's the next spot. You want to head out in that sun deck over there? Uh, yeah. It'll be kind of cool. Check it out. Oh. Life ain't so bad, huh? This is great. This is pretty cool. Oh. Bye, scuba pro. I'm so mad. The turtles were so cool. I'm so jealous that you saw turtles. I hope we see another That's set. Amazing. I do feel kind of bad though because that's something that we've always, like both of us love sea turtles. We have a fake sea turtle in our house. It's like one of the main pieces. He has a name and he gets petted. Yeah, his name's Finn. <laughs> and we've talked about how much we want to see them out in the wild, not just in like zoos and aquariums and stuff. But like for real see one. And now I've seen one, but I guess technically there's no proof I've seen it, so. It doesn't count. It didn't happen. trying to make me feel better. There's our little buoy. This is our stop. It looks super shallow. Look at this meal, homemade buffet they had on board. And look at that view, the Great Barrier Reef. How awesome Incredible. is this? So, what'd you think? I am exhausted, but that was amazing. It was pretty good. It was good. Now, I'm, I'm gonna keep it really real here. It was just like just about every other reef we've been to. Now, this yeah. is probably, it probably had the most to look at and it probably had like a little bit prettier, a little bit more colorful stuff. And granted, I mean, the Great Barrier Reef is a huge living thing. Obviously, we could have been to a not so great part of it, but we've been to other reefs like over in the Caribbean and stuff like that, and it, it wasn't that much different. It the was pretty cool much the same thing. The part about it that I'd never seen before was that you could see that it just went on for miles and yeah. miles. So you could tell that it was bigger, but if you showed me a picture of coral from there and anywhere else, I couldn't tell that it was You wouldn't really tell. So, I mean, if you're ever in Australia or you're ever in Cairns because there's a lot to do out here, I would definitely recommend going and doing it. Yeah. I would not recommend flying all the way here just for it because you can get the same reef experience just about anywhere else in the world. I mean, all reefs have colorful coral. They all have colorful yeah. fish, that sort of thing. Um, unfortunately, we never saw another sea turtle, so I'm really, really sad about that. I just, I, I can't believe I forgot to charge the batteries last night. I was really tired, but it's, it, it stinks. It's all right. Uh, apparently, some of the people in our group saw a shark too. Some of the people that were on our boat. There were like four people that said they saw a shark. So I don't know if they were bluffing or what. Um, but we never ended up seeing that. Really, we saw a ray. That was cool. Yeah, we, we saw, saw a couple like a stingrays. Ray, some huge fish. Yeah. None of the epic stuff. But um, it was still pretty cool. I hope you guys enjoyed all the footage. Try to do what we can with that. I wanted to put the drone up, but it was super, super windy, and uh, I don't know, just like with no land or anything around to block the wind, it was kind of scary, scary to think about that. <laughs> Um, so yeah, that's what we've got going on. We're back. It was, we were there from 8.30 in the morning to 4.30 p.m. And now what we're gonna do is Chelsea actually found a restaurant which is just over on the other end of the harbor down here that serves both kangaroo and, and crocodile. crocodile. So we are gonna go check those out, definitely try those out and be able to give you guys a little review. That was one of my main things. I wanted to try kangaroo while I was down here just because everybody always talks about it. So that's what we're gonna go do now. Hopefully it's fun. We'll see where the rest of the night leads us. And um, here we go. Is this your spot? Yeah. Better Fresh be good. local seafood, Australian beef bush pucker. That's what you're gonna be interested in. All right. I'm always down to check it out. Honestly, food is like my favorite part of every single one of our trips. That we I go, always yeah. look forward to it. So let's, let's see what they got. It's almost like it was fate. I saw two turtles today and now I got a two turtle pale ale. <laughs> at dinner so uh, she got a steak I got some local seafood fish and prawns and stuff like that and we are gonna try kangaroo and crocodile for an appetizer kind of went a little bit overboard I'm it's a, a little nervous it wasn't even available as an appetizer it was like a third entree so we kind of ordered a third meal <laughs> there's no way we're gonna eat it all but we just want to try it and as you guys can see she's visibly nervous <laughs> she's not so sure about this it's here what do you think the kangaroo looks like steak, so that looks promising. Yeah. The crocodile's gonna be hard for me because it looks like something I'm not allowed to eat. It looks kind of like fish. Yeah, yeah, that's what I've heard is that crocodile and alligator have the texture of fish, 
but the taste of chicken. So that's this white meat right here and it comes with a teriyaki sauce. And then the kangaroo is this darker meat which comes with a peanut sauce. So honestly, I mean, eating it like this, I didn't know it was coming in skewer form. This is not that bad. It looks bad. pretty good. Yeah. I thought we were gonna have like slabs of meat. I wanna do it before I lose my nerve here. All right, the first one, you have to try it without the peanut sauce, is my vote. So you can really get the taste of it. Oh, that's a baby bite. So far, it just looks like straight steak. Okay. It tastes like steak. It tastes like steak? Nothing else? It tastes like, like a steak off the farm. So kind of a gamey steak? Like Yeah, like it wasn't raised to be eaten, but it's not bad. I'm really not wanting to try the crack at all. Oh, you got it. Vomits everywhere. It literally <laughs> tastes like chicken. Really? Wow. Well, this is highly disappointing. I was hoping for like some gagging action or some at least dry heaving or something. You know what I mean? Like it didn't have to have anything come up, but I was just. The I was knowledge like alone a... is enough to make me not want to eat it. Like it's unappetizing to me because I know what it is, I guess. But right. it's. I thought I was gonna. All right. Well, there I you guys I was have it. Turn this color. <laughs> oh my goodness! So what a fantastic day. A lot of fun. A lot of adventure, but now it's back to Sydney we go. We still have, I guess, technically six, more like five days left here in Australia, yeah. all of which is gonna be spent in Sydney. So we're but just- tomorrow should be fun because it's a uh, special day. Anzac Day, yeah, tomorrow's an Anzac Day. Tomorrow's the day why my ticket was so expensive. So in yesterday's episode, you guys saw I got a $406 ticket. That's because this is Anzac weekend and it's a national holiday weekend where all the tickets and points and fines are doubled. So that's why it was so expensive, Can but it's where they um, they honor their fallen in World War One and World War Two, which is really cool. And supposedly, honestly, I think it would have been cool if we weren't flying, it would have been cool to go to like their services. Like they have memorials and stuff at sunrise in the morning. Unfortunately, we're not gonna be able to make that because we'll be on a plane at 6 a.m but they pretty much party all day. Like it's a huge party. It's not like a super like uptight memorial type thing. It's like a big party where everybody hangs out. So it's gonna be pretty cool. What guys? These little guys. Where? What are these things? Oh, there are three of them. They are kind of cute. Aww. Anyway, yeah, so tomorrow's gonna be exciting. Should be fun. Next five days, honestly, you're probably gonna be pretty chill. They're gonna be actual vacation. We've been going, 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 so I think it's gonna be more like chill, surf a little bit, hang out on the beach, that sort of thing. All right, girl, we made it to Bondi Junction. So this is like, I don't know, kind of like a little downtown area. It's not really downtown, but you can see the Westfield Mall up there to the left. We, um, we were planning on getting food and stuff before we came down here, but we looked it up on a whim. It was actually her idea. Their mall closes at 7 p.m. on a Friday? Yeah. Weird. That doesn't seem right, but uh, we're gonna run in. We're gonna try to get some gear for tomorrow. Browse around for a little bit. It's six already, so we don't have that much time, but we're gonna see what we can get done. Holy cow. This is a big mall. This is bigger than anything we have in Orlando. I don't know if I'm ever gonna get her out of this place. You're not allowed back, okay? We're just here for clothing, for the game, nothing else. We found a wall in the mall that asked you to post a post-it note about what would make the mall better. And there are a lot of white girls that come to this mall because there's a lot of Sephora's and a lot of Starbucks. Everywhere. The first place that I zoomed into had both of them and it had Sephora and twice. Down here again. Yep. And down here again. Yep. Sephora, Starbucks, Starbucks. That's pretty cool though. Target failed us, they didn't have it. So we are now resulting to looking at the the mall's app and trying to figure out random Australian stores that we've never heard of that might possibly have it. So we're gonna check Rebel right here. Never heard of it. We're gonna, ooh, a Nike shoe, that's a good sign. Okay. I totally did not just do that. <laughs> Oh babe, this is definitely what we want. We killed it on our first try. It's a small. You think that'd fit you? You're gonna be drowning in it a little bit. 
Hmm, I don't know if I want to go with a jersey, but I also kind of like this. That's kind of cool with like the city and the Volkswagen logo on it. Or they have their legit jerseys. So this is like actually all they wear. They wear this and then they go hit each other. <laughs> That's so crazy. I just went with the t-shirt because I'll wear it again. To be honest, this stuff is kind of expensive. These are our seats here. We're in the Bruwangel section. We're a little bit higher up, but everything I read online said that was better. You can see way more, so I don't know. Typically, at any other sporting events, you want to be closer, but hopefully this is good. I have no clue what I'm doing, but we made it here. It's time to get some snacks. What do you guys think we got to eat? You all know she can never say no to a giant wiener. <laughs> <laughs> we got some big old dogs with cheese and sauerkraut and onions and all sorts of stuff. We got a couple of beers, a couple of mixed drinks. And we are going to enjoy this game. It's starting to fill in a little bit, but honestly, I'm, I'm kind of disappointed. I'm not going to lie. When I booked these tickets online, supposedly this is the section to be in. There were like maybe 15 open seats in a section of like 300. So I was thinking this thing was going to be completely packed like to the brim and you guys can see there's barely anybody here we still have about an hour before we kick it off so hopefully it fills up and becomes a little bit more rowdy but we'll see what happens 